Today the topic of our discussion is a quick simplified summary of seven major steps of scientific method in biology. So moving right into the topic, scientific method starts with making observation. Keen observation is one of the most important feature of a researcher. So we have to make an observation and this observation may be direct using our senses or maybe using instruments. If we are studying microorganisms, we need a microscope like that. The observation should be correct and repeatable. Then we will be asking questions about the observation. How, what, why, what is the reason like that. And these questions will help us to define the problem. Therefore, step two is research the topic. It is also called as review of literature. It is a detailed study of the selected topic from all available authentic resources. Often the most authentic resource is the purpose published in scientific journals, maybe books, maybe magazines, etc. The purpose of this review of literature is it helps in avoiding repetition. Somebody might have done the work before. Also, it helps in making a good solid hypothesis. Therefore, step three is formulate or frame a hypothesis and this is probably the most important step in research or scientific method. Hypothesis is an educated guess, a possible answer, a predictive statement that can be tested by scientific methods. In the last step, step two, we have done a detailed study on the topic or review of literature. That review of literature will help us to frame a good hypothesis. And also, hypothesis is based on our previous experience. We will be working on that topic for a long time. That experience also will help us to frame a good hypothesis. Step four, conduct an experiment to test this hypothesis. So here we will be discussing or we will be considering all the parameters associated with the experiment, dependent variable, independent variable, etc. We have discussed all these terms in detail in our previous videos. So conduct experiment considering all the parameters. And step five is collect data and analyze data. So data collection, as in the case of observation, it may be direct, maybe using our senses or indirect using some instruments. Results are analyzed for its authenticity by using mathematical tools, softwares, etc. to find out the significance of the result. Also, avoiding error while collecting data and analysis. We'll be using different tools. And step six is draw conclusion. We need to reach a conclusion after analysis of the results. Often the conclusion is the hypothesis stated is accepted or rejected. If the hypothesis is rejected, then we need to move to step two again, do a thorough review of literature then frame a more solid hypothesis and carry out the same procedure again from step three onwards. And finally, step six, if the hypothesis stated is accepted, we need to publish the result. This includes maybe preparation of report, often publishing the paper in a standard format in scientific journals, maybe presentation of results like that, so that our research is open to public so that anyone can carry out that research further. So the steps in scientific method, a quick summary starting with observation, asking questions, then review of literature, that is followed by framing a hypothesis, then conduct an experiment to test the hypothesis, collect data, analyze data. Step six is draw conclusions and finally publish the result so that it will be helpful to the humanity at large. In short, scientific method can be defined as an organized and systematized logical way of finding answers to questions or finding solutions to problems through observation, experimentations, and also moving through all these steps. And this is Yasser Hani from biologyxamsorry.com. Thank you so much for your support.